But once you get back that far, a big piece of being able to expand the family tree is having to reach out to other descendants to see what they might be holding on to because a lot of times family heirlooms, documents, pictures, all sorts of stuff will be inherited by someone. They won't quite realize it. It may be in a box or something just put in the attic. Someone, someone died. The estate had to be cleared out. You know, there's a lot to deal with and people forget about things. And this was actually the case for Eunice Besenson's husband's family. So going back to the tree, we see Eunice W. Besenson was married to Henry Cross. And it's this Cross family, which was also known as the Gross Gross family. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Descends from a Conrad Cross. Now Conrad came on the Betty in 1752. So he was also part of these foreign Protestant settlers. But if you were to look online on Ancestry, Family Search, all that stuff for anything, you're actually not going to find that many documents that are going to correlate what you find in information online. So basically there's information coming from somewhere that isn't available online or even more than that beyond any of the typical archives because not everything is online as we've discussed many times in these series. So where did it come from? So I decided to take a route that I love to take when it comes to genealogy research, social media. A lot of people don't realize that when you go on Facebook, there are hundreds of genealogy groups. And so I sought out the Nova Scotia genealogy group on Facebook, which has over 14,000 members. I made a post about researching the Matt's family, the families I was looking at, some of the storylines I was planning to talk about, and I got a lot of responses. And one of those responses was from a Peter Hanley Jr. Now, does anyone remember earlier when we were looking at the Hanley Quest family tree? Well, that one's from Peter. And he ended up telling me that he had been a part of the cross research for a long time and that there was a lot going on with it. But one of the biggest things to note was that a lot of this information came from a family Bible and will and some other records that were in an old family trunk, which is currently held by one of the Byzantin relatives who is in her 80s. While she did allow some historians and people to take a few photographs and study it and transcribe it, but the cousin who held these items was very hesitant about allowing much for these documents. So even though there are a few pictures, she did not allow them to be circulated. She did not allow them to be put online and digitized in any sort of way. And she is still holding on to the items and does not at this time want to donate them to any museum or archive or anything like that. Which is quite unfortunate because, you know, hopefully they don't get destroyed somehow because when you can give them to an archive or a museum or anything like that, that allows the possibility of much further life for them because museums and archives can make sure that they're preserved properly and especially digitizing them not only preserves them really well, but it also gives access for all sorts of other researchers and she may be holding on to the secret that connects all sorts of different family ancestries, but because they're currently behind a wall, they're not available for the public. And that's something that's going to happen for a lot of people, not just these foreign Protestant settlers. Now, of course, I asked Peter if he wanted to be on this video as well, and he declined from being on the video, but did say that he was willing to let me talk about the fact that he told me this information. But when I started to look further into things, you know, you got to go out of these different websites. You want to check WikiTree, Family Search, Genie, Ancestry, My Heritage, Genie Net. I mean, literally any place that has family trees, you want to see what information they have there. Don't take it as fact, but you never know what hints someone might have put out because they found something nobody else has found yet. And if they list it, you might be able to make a breakthrough yourself. But in that vein, going to the WikiTree page for Conrad Cross, this actually is mentioned. So we see here Conrad Cross, aka Grass, Graffs, born 2nd November 1721 in Appenzell, Osterhoden, Switzerland. I'm sorry, I'm sure I butchered that terribly. But when we scroll down, we see original documents. In 2021, there was a cache of original documents discovered in the collection of an anonymous private citizen in Lunenburg County. Regrettably, this citizen has restricted anyone from viewing these documents and does not want to donate them currently. This cache included various land and tax receipts associated with Conrad Grass, 
It also contained a short biographical piece likely written at the end or close to the end of Conrad's life. So about 1800. It was allowed to be photographed by one individual who convinced the owner to get it translated. It is written in current script, translated by German speakers, and using an auto transcribing tool, then translated into English. I've compiled here what I believe the document to roughly say. And we scroll down and we see life description concerning Mr. Conrad Grass. And this is the information they were talking about. So we see here, born in the year of Christ, 1721, November the 2nd, in Appenzell in Switzerland, Lower Canton, of Christian parents. His father was called Ulrich and his mother, Anna Barbara, both of whom have passed from this world. And then it goes on further to describe a little bit more of his life, uh, marrying, having children, and that he had 29 grandchildren. But since Peter was a part of this project, he was able to supply me a transcribed part from Conrad's will. And just like all wills, it gives all sorts of information on the family and we get all of his children. And it is through John Rudolph that Matt Baker descends from Conrad, at least on this line, because he does actually descend from Conrad multiple ways. 